This is Spike. Spike's pretty cool. He's got a little goatee and a cool jacket. But he makes my computer have a fit for no apparent reason. What's up you cretins? It's Cobb and welcome back to Dying Light. If you haven't seen the first video on this game, go check that out. It's right up here. But anyways, let's get into it. We head back to the tower and mummy tells us Brecken and the gang got absolutely shit on last night by Rice's men and now he can't go out for the Anderson drop tonight. We offer up our body I'll go. I'll do it. and head out, only to find Lena who tells us that Brecken needs seizure medication and points us towards Garzi. When I get out of this long ass cutscene, I notice a metric fuck ton of quests available and we find these guys. I can't get this lock. We break into the room and find a gamer girl bathwater drinker on the floor. My chest feels like it's going to explode. The simp army is really getting out of control. He tells us where he got the bathwater, and on the way out, this guy tells us this. If he needs a doctor, you should get the doctor. Thanks, fuckhead. I didn't think of that. We head up to meet Yusuf. I try to jump scare him, but then get jump scared myself, as this guy looks about 10 seconds away from death. He tells us where he got the Gamer Girl yes, bath sir. water from. There's a building next to the drugstore. A couple of survivors live there. And we had to tell these guys to stop yes, selling it to people. To they don't take yeah, it well, kindly, right. and we have the most I annoying fight of all day. time. These guys are absolute damage sponges, what the fuck. I'm hitting these guys with hammers, but you'd think it was a wet noodle, because it doesn't do shit. I kick Bento into the fire, and that ends the boss fight. We call Lena and let her know that they won't be a problem anymore. Now we have to head to Garzi. And on the way there, I remember I unlocked the ability to drop kick. So I find some zombies and spend way too long just toying with them. I find a safe house on the way and clear it out. Utilizing my newly remembered tactic of just drop kicking every cunt I find. After securing it, we then head off to find Garzi. The most annoying character you will ever meet in Dying Light. Crane rhymes with train and brain and sane and grain. He and wants chocolates and, and a movie and for his dead mum, so we embark. Come in? We grab the chocolates and about 60 kilos of coffee. <laughs> then go for the movie. We ultimately find gotcha. it, but it trips an alarm, alerting the surrounded infected. The screams they make are fucking scary. Just listen to this shit. I try to escape, but I'm followed by one. I take its head off and get a personal anatomy lesson. With both items retrieved, we head back to Garzi. Here's your movie and your this geezer for some reason thinks it's okay to slam the door in our face, so we have to head for the roof. How the fuck has this guy survived the zombie apocalypse? I try to clear this gap and Crane loses all motor skills and falls to his death. I'm pissed off now. I respawn and decide it's time to chuck my Aussie outfit on. Crane hasn't got time for Garzi's bullshit. We head back and make it across the gap successfully this time. I get into Garzi's house and immediately start stealing everything in sight. I find Garzi and start watching the movie with him and his mum. He finally gives us Brecken's medicine. Garzi's mum really looks like someone I could vibe with. I definitely tap that. I spit on Garzi and then leave. Heading back to Lena, I find this guy being attacked and save him. He only gives us $76, which wasn't worth the hassle. Next time I'll send thoughts and prayers instead of jumping into the line of fire. We get back to Lena and are given an upgrade for our weapons. It's so good to see all of our hard work being rewarded with big piles of shit. Finally, we decide to head for the Anderson drop. I have an unhealthy obsession with clearing out safe houses and decide it's definitely worth my time to clear this one out as well. I kick this guy off the building and secure it. I get to the drop and it's revealed that it's empty. A convenient plane flies over and drops two more packages. Did you see that? Yeah, two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately, but you're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. So I pursue in quick fashion. I find the first drop 
and it's been taken over by Rice's men. I tell Jade, and she says just to avoid them at all costs. But I wear the pants in our relationship, so I head in to fight them. These guys are even bigger damage sponges than the bathwater connoisseurs, but Crane has got insane plot armor and takes care of them. I loot the drop and find some grenades and pistol ammo, which would be incredibly helpful if I had a fucking pistol. I then go to the next drop. We call the GRE again, and they want us to destroy the Anderson in the drop, so Brecken is forced to resort to Rise as a means to get Anderson. Crane here. I'm about to recover an Anderson drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing Anderson, destroy it. What? What? Why? It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. We obey our capitalist overlords and chuck the cases into this fire. We call Jade and tell her the situation, and she tells us to be careful, because the Volatiles are out and about. This is easily the scariest shit I've encountered in a game. Must have heard me. We start running, and by the time we are on the main street, half the population of Australia is chasing us. But we managed to get to the tower with a volatile basically smelling the shit that's in my pants. He's that close. He runs away and I chuck a grenade at him. He becomes Elon Musk's newest astronaut and I manage to kill him by bonking him into a spike. It's crazy how volatiles can survive a grenade and being thrown 15 feet into the air but die by a slight tickle on their ass cheeks by a trap. I toy with the other infected and then go to Brecken, who is in a heated argument about who should go to see Rise for Anderson. The GRE's plan worked. We dap him up, and that concludes the episode. Thanks for watching, you absolute weapons. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and want to see more content like this. Cheers, cunts. Have a good one.